Okay, I'll start over again. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, be a sister to every Girl Scout. Okay, Thank awesome. You. at the other table? So I'm staff led program coordinator. I am a troop leader. That's what I do for a good portion of my job and working with girls who live in public housing communities. A lot of the girls we serve come from immigrant and refugee families. What do we do? Kaylin. Yeah, we share our feelings. So we're gonna go around and I want you to tell me. These girls are just really incredible and they have amazing amounts of knowledge and drive. I'm really happy because I get I got to play soccer with the boys even though I was the only girl. <laughs> A lot of it comes down to just leadership and really feeling like they are their own agents of change. Girls can come here and they can feel like this is for them, this is about them, and they have the space to be who they want to be here. I was adopted in the United States as a three-month-old. We moved to the Netherlands when I was five years old, and uh, my parents both worked at the American School of The Hague where we had Girl Scouts. And so Girl Scouts became this place where I got to be American and learn about the United States, and that was a really powerful experience for me. I was born in Fort Stewart, Georgia, and then we moved to Fort Meade, Maryland, and then Fort Hood, Texas, and then we ended up back in Georgia at Fort Gordon, and then back in Texas at Fort Sam Houston, and now I'm at Fort Lewis. Moving is hard enough, but moving as an introvert is harder, especially now that she's in high school. So Girl Scouts is kind of her fallback. I've always, almost always, been in a troop that's more military-based, so we've all really related because we're shifting around constantly. Girl Scouts gave me a new perspective on just specifically getting to know girls in a new way. They all bring something different to the table, to the to the meetings, whether they've been all in the same state or they have moved around Here. like the military. 68. Moving constantly sort of makes it hard to meet new people and I'm not much of a talker to other people and strangers and such. So it sort of brought out the side of me that can speak to people. They learn so much about their environment, about leadership, about helping others. I think it develops them as girls, as leaders. Every young person wants to belong somewhere. Every young person. Every kid wants that space to feel like, wow, people accept me just as I am. And I think Girl Scouts is powerful that way. And we are each taking what we learned during that week and sharing it to about 30 of you and then you guys. The Global Action Team is a group of 24 girls that are in high school. Each year there's a theme that we focus on. This year it's violence against women and girls and what we do is we go on retreats and we learn about how to be advocates for that topic. This is a huge movement and it's really exciting to be a part of that. I bicycled around Barcelona. And like so people. when I was younger, especially during like elementary and like the middle of middle school, I was bullied severely on just the littlest things. It could be the jeans I was wearing, the shoes I was wearing, the way my hair was styled. And then there was this time where I was kind of invisible. Meeting all these wonderful women and seeing how these other girls and Girl Scouts were very free and confident. And I said to myself, you know, I want to be like that too. Simone! Victoria! <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without Girl Scouts. I wouldn't have anything to look up to or look forward to. I would rather spend my free time doing something worthwhile, trying to change the world rather than going to the mall. 
and I feel like that's what we're put on this earth for. When I think about Seattle or Tequila or Kent or Tacoma, we represent upwards of 70 nations. But that's not what we're seeing in Girl Scouts right now. How do we as a state, how do we as a nation begin to embrace the beauty that is the many? Mm -hmm.